Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 2 students. How are you today? I hope you have a very good Tuesday morning. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson here in the property of parallel lines. Okay, so this time we're going to figure out the unknown angles. Na? So, we're going, we have here the given and we're going to figure out what are these uh, values of the unknown angles. Na? So we have here, find the anion angle. So for this um, uh, picture that we can see, we have here the anion angle, we have angle P, angle Q, and angle R. And again, we have the given, this angle here, 55 degrees, and this angle here is 78 degrees. Now remember that we have here the parallel lines, and we have two transversal lines here, this line, uh, this one, and this one. Okay, so first is we have the alternate interior angles. So remember that for this transversal line, we can have two angles that are equal, which are this angle is equal to angle Q, right? So this is an example of alternate interior angles. Okay, so angle Q is 55 degrees by means of the alternate interior angles, right? Next, we have the property of a triangle. We know that the property of a triangle is uh, the internal angle of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, right? So if angle Q, up there, angle Q is uh, 55 degrees, then we can figure out what is angle R, right? By means of this, uh, the internal angle of a triangle. It says that uh, we have the three angles here, 78 plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees, right? So therefore, we can say that if angle Q is 55 degrees, then how much is angle R? So just transpose this to the right side. Okay, we have there, that becomes negative 133. And we subtract that with 180. Therefore, angle R is equal to 47 degrees. Okay, my question. Now, uh, for angle P, we can use the straight angle here. Since that we have angle 55, 78, and angle P, then we can use the straight angle, or we can also use the alternate interior angle since that we know already what is angle R, and that would be also the value of angle P, right? So you have two ways. So we have here using the alternate interior angles. So again, by means of this transversal line, we can say that angle P is equal to angle R by means of alternate interior angles, or the straight angle. Uh, so just sum up all of this. This is totally equal to 180 degrees, right? And that is also equal to 47 degrees. Okay, my. Okay. Now next we have this one. Up to have here. Our. Okay, move it here first. Now we have here um uh, that the parallel line. This one uh, line AC and line uh, BD. We have the transversal line, line BC, and line A, we have the transversal line. We're going to figure out angle X, Y, and Z. And we have here the given, we have 78 and 34. Na? So first is we're going to find, oh, where is the, okay. By means of the alternate interior angles, we can say that, again, using this transversal line, na? So we have the parallel lines and the transversal line, line BC. Therefore, this angle here is equal to angle Y. Okay, by means of alternate interior angle. Now, next is we have the angle Z and angle X. Okay, now again, take a look at angle X and the uh, straight angle also. So again, we for, uh, for angle Z, you can use straight angles. Na? Straight angle for angle Z first before we go with angle X. But again, for angle X, we can use corresponding for that. For angle uh, Z, we can use straight angle. Na? So the, the total of these three, three angles is equal to 180 degrees, right? So if this is 34 plus angle Y, which is 78, plus angle Z is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, my. So what is angle Z? That is, we subtract. We transpose this 2 to the right side, becomes minus 212, 
and we subtract that with 180 minus 112 or z angle is 68 degrees na okay may now again for the last one angle x so we can apply here with corresponding angle okay because this is the transversal line we have here the parallel line this one and the transversal line ab so therefore this angle 34 is equal to angle x by means of corresponding angle na okay now we go to the next our last example this one so we're going to figure out these two missing angle unknown angle angle x and angle y so we have here the given 35 degrees so first is we're going to find it's either angle x or angle y so you can have both of them okay for this one we're going to use uh, find first angle um, x okay so you can use straight angles right straight angles for this one or supplementary angle okay so that is equal the sum is 180 degrees okay 35 plus angle x is 180 degrees so how much angle x we transpose this to the right side because minus 35 we subtract that 180 minus 35 or that would be 145 degrees or you can also use this one what is this alternate right alternate so we have that solution later now to find angle y so we have two now it's either that you will use x as co-interior or the alternate interior angles so first we have here the co-interior angles so the sum of this angle x plus angle y is equal to 180 degrees na? angle x and angle y equals to 180 degrees so if x is angle x is 145 degrees that one we subtract 180 minus 145 mingle then y is equal to 35 degrees as you can see we can apply for the alternate interior angle so for the alternate interior angle so this one angle 35 is equal to angle y which is alternate interior angles right which is also equal to 35 degrees okay uh, okay, again, I put this back here because... Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so again, we're going to continue more about this next time. And uh, if you don't have any questions, that's all for today. And we see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye!